Long lines of young immigrants around the country today as they hope to avoid deportation under a new immigration rule. Beginning today, they could apply for the Obama administration's Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, which would allow them to avoid being deported for at least two years. The new rule benefits undocumented immigrants who were brought here when they were under the age of 16. KMIR 6 News anchor Thalia Hayden joins us now with more on the new rule. Thalia. Those who qualify to have, have to pay $465 to have their deportation deferred for at least two years, but the people we spoke with today say it is well worth the money. It's referred to as the DREAM Act. It's really special because well, a lot of people are going to be able to benefit for this. Well, I guess it's a hope. For me, it means the possibility of getting a job so I can go and pay for college. Dozens of immigrants waited their turn for a free consultation at the Coachella Valley Immigration Services in Palm Springs. The youth of uh, our society need to be protected, so they should definitely be going and seeking uh, legal representation. Uh, it's pro bono at the Coachella Valley Immigration Service. Young immigrants around the country began applying for the Obama administration's Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. Undocumented immigrants can now apply for the temporary right to live and work in the United States without fear of deportation. It's actually a dream come true. I was born in Mexico and I was brought over here when I was three years old. I came here when I was one year old. My parents brought me here. I've been here my whole life. I was actually born in Mexico, but I came here when I was like one. This is the only country they know. Uh, we are fortunate that their parents were well informed to let them know that they are immigrants. Otherwise, uh, heart to heart, they all believe that they're Americans. The program is open to immigrants ages 15 to 31, but there are some criteria. A young person needs to first be a person of good moral character. That means no criminal history. Applicants also need at least five years in the country. Not only that, they have to either be in high school, have graduated, or have served in the military. And many in this room say they have met all the requirements. I just want to remain here because like, there's a lot of opportunities here, not like in Mexico. Well, this is the life I know. I just want to tell everyone to keep trying to stay positive. Now, a decision on each application could take several months. The new rule could affect an estimated 1.7 million young immigrants. Back to you. All right, thank you.